Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're taking a look at how to manage driver problems in Device Manager. If you want to work on a computer, learn how to work on computers, you need to know how to deal with driver problems in Device Manager. It's old school. Let's show you how it works. So, a lot of your problems come from a blue screen of death, problems updating Windows, etc., because of a driver issue. So let's press the Windows key plus S for search. Start typing in Device Manager until you see it. Go ahead and click on it. All right. So what we want to look at is what your problem is and what you think you can need to do. We're going to look for, let's say, display adapters. And there's a couple of things to do. Most of what you need to do, you can do by right-clicking here. You can update driver, which will update driver through Windows Updates. And when you do that, you get these choices. In this case, you can get the driver yourself or search automatically. If Windows has the best driver installed, it will tell you that. The other thing you can do, I don't do disable too often, especially if you're playing around with video, mouse, keyboard, because your computer could stop working. Uninstall device, now that's an interesting one. If you want to reinstall the thing, you can actually do that, take it out, and then reboot. So for example, even though I took out my video card, I wouldn't lose my video card but when I reboot, it'll take it out. When you reboot your computer, it will redetect it and reinstall it. Sometimes that can help you. So that's your big one. Those are the two big ones here. Update driver, uninstall device. But there's more that you might want to look at. So right click and look at the properties. When you hit on properties, go ahead and click on the driver tab. Now some of the same information is here. Disable, which again, we hardly ever use. If it's a device that's causing a problem, might be a good, for example, you can't update Windows and it's a device that isn't needed for your computer, you could disable it if you don't use it much. Again, it's a lot less likely. Uninstall, pretty much the same as what we did over here. Right there. And you have your driver details. With this, you can get the information on who provided the driver what the driver version is and if it's been signed. So that can help you as well in different situations. Did you need a signed driver? Do you have the latest version? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. But the more interesting one, which is often found to be grayed out, is the rollback driver. The nice thing about that is again if you're having a problem with the current driver, it's probably one of your best choices, which I really would would prefer it was over here, rather than have to dig over here to the driver tab because rollback driver will take you back to the last driver. Now, if it's grayed out, that usually means Windows hasn't updated the driver. It doesn't have a driver to roll back to. But that can often fix your problems with your drivers. There you have it. So the other thing you might want to consider at this point is you can always update manually. In the tutorial you see here in the background, I'll have a link up here somewhere. Here is an update manually, and this is going to tell you all the different ways to download your drivers with a video to go along with that. And that is, of course, as many of the geeks know, Windows updates, third-party apps from the computer manufacturer, from the hardware manufacturer. And we even provide some links to the most popular stuff. So there you have it. But again, drivers, where you're getting them from, that's a whole different ballgame. That's why there's a whole different guy. But this should help you, again, if you're having a problem with something with a driver, you got to have device manager. You got to know how to use it. And now you do. Piece of cake, right? There you go. Bottom right corner, Major Geeks logo. Click subscribe. We always appreciate that. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.